Benchmarks in Science Literacy, presented by Victoria Raza and Rachel Wixell. Project 2061 Science for All Americans, published in 1989 after study and debate by scientists, mathematicians, engineers, and educators, specified literacy goals in science, mathematics, and technology for all high school graduates. But setting these adult literacy goals was just the first step toward reforming science education. A needed second step was to create a set of tools for educators to use in designing K-12 curricula that would meet the content standards of SFAA. Chief among these TOAST tools, it was thought at the beginning, would be a curriculum model that could serve an example of alternative ways to configure the K-12 experience so as to obtain the desired science literacy outcomes. Scientists and engineers know their subjects but are at a distance from the classroom. Learning and education researchers understand the difficulties children have, but only in a narrow range of topics. Classroom teachers lack needed resources, training, and time to envision radical departures from the current curriculum. Then what were formed was school teachers and administrators advised by education specialists and backed by scientists. This would be most likely to develop intellectually sound curriculum models and other curriculum design tools that prove credible to other teachers. The teacher would have to be well versed in the major ideas of science, mathematics, and technology, have a broad educational perspective, encompassing several disciplines and spanning the entire K-12 learning process, and have expertise in designing curricula. This array of quality, qualities was unlikely to be found in even the most exceptional team of teachers in a chosen district, but was certainly worth cultivating, and this is what the Project 2061 Science for All Americans went out to do. The website can be found at www.project2061.org. The first page that will come up is the Table of Contents. Here you can find the Introduction to Benchmarks and also the Science Benchmarks. These include the Nature of Science, the Nature of Mathematics, the nature of technology, the physical setting, the living environment, the human organism, human society, the design world, the mathematical world, historical perspectives, common themes, and habitat of mind. When clicked on, each of these categories will bring you to another table of content, such as in the Nature of Science category, you can find the benchmarks for K-12 for the Scientific Worldview, Scientific Inquiry, and the Scientific Enterprise. The importance of benchmarks of science literature. It can assist with the curriculum. It is a tool to be used to link the curriculum with standards of science literature into a lesson. It also holds the common core of learning science. It shows the levels in which all students should reach by a certain time. Also by incorporating benchmarks of science literature into the classroom, it helps students to achieve a higher level of understanding the science. An example would be having students use prior knowledge to branch out to make new discoveries. In the benchmarks for science literature, an example would be when they state circles, squares, triangles, and other shapes can be found in the nature and in things that people build. Here a kindergartner to a second grader can recognize rectangles and squares that creates this house. You can see this in the red for the rectangles in this orange for the triangles. This established exploring the world around them and relates new information with prior experience to gain a new level of science understanding. As a child grows, so will their level of science literacy, which will allow them to have a better concept of science. Since the students are gaining new levels of understanding in science, it boosts their morales and promotes them to use abstract thinking in different scenarios. The benchmarks of science literature creates a pathway for teachers to follow when creating lesson plans. Most importantly, the benchmarks of science literature allow teachers to relate science to other subjects. There are several examples here. One would be relating it to social studies. Under the benchmarks of science literature, it states, clear communication is an essential part of doing science. 
It enables scientists to inform others about their work, expose their ideas to criticism by other scientists, and stay informed about scientific discoveries around the world. In social studies, the goal in lower L is to help communication and interaction between the students. Another example would be for reading and language arts. Here it states, investigations are conducted for different reasons, including to explore new phenomenons, to check, out, to check on previous results, to test how well a theory predicts, and to compare different theories. Here students can use their skills of reading and writing to conduct investigations and research. Another example would be for math. Here it states, usually there is no one right way to solve a mathematical problem. Different methods have different advantages and disadvantages. This can be used to show the abstract thinking for math. Science lesson planning. The benchmarks for science literature gives the teacher guidelines of what level of understanding that student should be at. For example, it states by the end of second grade, students should know that people may not be able to actually make or do anything that they can design. It also allows the teacher to expand science learning to other subjects which was seen on previous slides. The book also gives comments to teachers when conducting a lesson. Example would be during the introductory section, it comments on common difficulties in learning ideas, on pacing over grade levels, and on clarification of ideas themselves. Well, that concludes our overview of benchmarks for science literature. Thanks for listening.